Hello and welcome to another episode of EH Geeks. And in this episode, we are doing a new series, which I'm calling Strictly Better. So in this series, we dive into uh, two different cards uh, that we will be trying to compare to one another and decide which of the two is strictly better than the other, if we can. So in this episode of Strictly Better, uh, we are looking at Soul Ring versus Wayfarer's Bauble. Now, I think there's a few people who would say that there is no comparison to Soul Ring. There's just no comparison to Soul Ring whatsoever. But I think Wayfarer's Bauble is probably pretty close to uh, a good comparison as far as um, a card that rivals its uh, playability in decks. Um, I think Soul Ring, just one mana to add two mana, is just so powerful and so strong. But not every deck wants it. Plus, it is a little bit more expensive than Soul Ring. I think if you're an Artifacts uh, deck, um, Soul Ring goes up because if you have affinity for uh, for different things, then it counts to your wards, your artifact uh, count. Uh, certainly, Soul Ring is one of the most powerful and you know unfair sort of cards that is legal in Commander. Um, it's just one of those cards that is mostly an auto run. I do run it in quite a few of my decks as well, um, but I've sort of been trying to phase it out actually of a few of my decks especially like decks that don't really care about artifacts or decks that tend to blow up um all artifacts or what have you all artifacts and enchantments uh things like that just because i don't want to have my soul ring out and then blow it up um by you know having cast the spells that blow up all artifacts um you know things like that uh whereas wayfarer's bauble I like a little bit more, despite the fact that it's still an artifact that gets rid of itself more or less very quickly and very easily and very cheaply. Um, and it's much better, I think, in landfall strategies, um, especially if you're not in green. But if even if you are in green, I still think it's probably a worthy inclusion. And the fact is, if there's any doubt in your mind at any point of this, then I think I've proved my point that that um, Wayfarer's Bauble does deserve to be in comparison to Sol Ring. Um, I think these two cards are somewhat comparable in some regards, like I've been saying. Um, but yeah, Wayfarer's Bauble, just you can sacrifice it, get it out of the way, put it in your graveyard. You don't have to worry about it being blown up. It just adds to getting more lands onto your uh, battlefield. Lands are pretty safe in Commander. Now, I know this is not quote-unquote in CDH uh, level, and they don't really play cards like Bauble. Uh, they play more cards like Sol Ring and more cards that are basically free artifacts and things like that. But again, like I mostly talk about more casual play, um, but I still think that this is fairly efficient. Um, to a degree, because once again, it's one mana and then two mana to you know get rid of this thing, and just thinning your deck, getting more lands out of your deck is still pretty good as well. So I still think there's a lot of utility to Wayfarer's Bauble. That even if you even if you say, oh well, the the amount of cards thinning that this sort of does is not that great. I still think getting the lands. Uh, is much safer in Commander, and I'd like that effect a lot more. Plus, it's a little less broken than what Soul Ring is in a lot of cases, and it's not as immediately targeted as what Soul Ring is, I guess. it's you, Or you're not as targeted is, uh, as what you would be if you play where Ferris Pauble as opposed to playing Soul Ring. Um, so I just think that there's a comparison to be made. Uh, which of these is strictly better? Well, I don't know specifically which is strictly better. I think it's actually deterministic, again, what I've been saying, on your specific strategy. But guys, you know, 
tell me what you think. Which one of these cards is strictly better than the other? Or are either of these strictly better than the other? Are neither of these strictly better than the other? Are they on a parallel? Or is there uh, certain decks, once again, like I've tried to say, that would want one over the other? Um, and what decks are they? Or what decks would want both? Uh, let me know in the comments or let me know on Patreon or on my Discord where you can get in contact with me. And as I said, I think you can support us on Patreon. So please support us there. And thanks so much for watching and hope you will tune in yet again.